Okay, so we have this interesting exponential equation here, and it says 3 over 4 all power x times 2 over 3 all power y equals 32 over 27, and we are asked to find the value of x and y. So let's get right into it. So we can open the bracket. Of course, we know the rules of uh, one of the rules of uh, indices where we can use the power outside to multiply the powers in the brackets to open the bracket. And we know that 3 has a power 1 and likewise 4 has a power 1. And in the second part here, 2 has power 1 and 3 has power 1. So we can use the power outside to multiply the powers inside. So first I write my 3 and then I do x times 1 is x over then I write my 4 and I do x times 1 is x that settles it then here too I'm going to open the bracket the same thing um, y times write my 2 first of all of course there's multiplication between the two fractions so y times 1 is y over write down my 3 and then y times 1 is y equals 32 over 27 and I can write my 4 as a power of 2 so 4 can now be written as 2 raised to the power 2 so I can have it as 3 raised to the power x over 4 can now be 2 raised to the power 2 still raised to the power x times 2 raised to the power y over 3 raised to the power y equals 20, uh, 32 over 27 and then again, I will open the bracket here, just multiply the powers. 2 times x gives me 2x. So I have 3 raised to the power x over 2 times x is 2x. So I write my 2 first of all, then 2 times x is 2x times 2 raised to the power y over 3 raised to the power y equals 32 over 27. So in this case, I can... Just look at the fraction here and this fraction here. I can swap the denominators and it will still not change a thing about what is on the left hand side. Because I want to have 3 raised per x up here and I want to have 3 raised per y down here so that the num their basis will correspond. Here I have 3 raised per x and I have 2 raised per 2x. So it doesn't um, all go well here. So I have to swap them. So, But the, numerator, the numerators remain the same. So I can have 3 raised per x over... Instead of putting 2 raised to the power 2x, I'll put 3 raised to the power y, it doesn't change a thing, times, here is 2 raised to the power y over, instead of putting 3 raised to the power y, I've already put that one here, so I'm putting this one here, 2 raised to the power 2x. I just swapped the denominators. I brought this one to this side, and I brought this one to this side, as you can see down here. So 3 raised to the power y is now here, and 2 raised to the power 2x is now here. It still doesn't change what you get when you evaluate this since they are commutative. So the commutative law helps you or enables you to swap the denominators. So equals 32 over 27. And this is exactly what I want. See the bases are now the same. They are corresponding. You have your three and you have your three and you have your two and you have your two. Then you can now follow law of indices and then you divide. And for law of indices, when you are dividing uh, values with the same base you are going to pick one base and then you subtract the power so i'll pick three and then i'll do x minus y so i write that one up here so now i have three three raised to the power x minus y times i'll do the same thing here again i'll divide i'll pick one base pick one of the two and then i'll subtract the power so i'll just pick two raised to the power x minus two two raised to the power y minus two x rather so that'll be two raised to the power y minus two x everything equals 32 over 27 then i can manipulate the 32 over 27 so me manipulating it, I, I can have it this way. So I can rewrite this as 32 times 1 over 27. Yes. Because if I multiply back, I still get this value. And I can write 32 as a number, as 2 raised to the power 5, rather. So this 32 becomes 2 raised to the power 5 times 1 over 27 can now be 3 raised to the power 3. 
then I can have it as this now. If I reverse this to a negative index, I now have 2 raised to the power 5 times 3 raised to the power minus 3 if I reverse this to a negative index. So, this now simplifies to this. So, I'm writing this now to replace this here. So, when I have 3 raised to the power x minus y times 2 raised to the power y minus 2x equals... I'm writing this now, 2 raised to the power 5 times, 2 raised to the power 5 times, 3 raised to the power minus 3. And of course, this is where getting to the end of the question because here we can now compare the left-hand side and right-hand side. And notice that by comparing, we have 3 raised to the power something here and we also have it here. So we're going to equate these two, this and again, we have 2 raised to the power y minus 2x, and we have 2 raised to the power 5, so we're equating this to this to form two separate equations. So let me equate this to this first of all. So 3 raised to the power x minus y equals 3 raised to the power minus 3. And then again, I'm equating this to this to get the second equation, 2 raised to the power y minus 2 raised to the power 2x equals... 2 raised to the power 5 and then of course I can solve this cancel out the basis since they are the same and I have x minus y equals minus 3 I can call this one equation since this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 I can call this one equation 3 and again here too I can cancel out the basis and I have y minus 2x equals 5 equat equating their exponents so this will now be equation 4. Then I'll solve them simultaneously. I, I, I can just decide to use the elimination method. So write out my, this. I can write this one under. First of all, I'll write my minus 2x here, and then I have my plus y, just swapping the minus 2x to correspond with the x value up. Then the plus y down here equals 5. And then I subtract since I'm using elimination method. And definitely, I will just cancel that because the y values can eliminate themselves. I'm seeing minus y plus y, which gives 0. So I'm left with plus x minus 2x. That will be minus x equals uh, minus 3 plus 5 gives me plus 2. And if I divide both sides by minus 1, or if I minus down, I get x equals minus 2. So I've gotten the value for x. But we could substitute the value of x into equation 1. So substituting x into equation 3, rather, equation 3. So I have equation 3 as well, x minus y equals minus 3. And x is minus 2, so I, I'm replacing this with minus 2 minus y equals minus 3. Then minus y will now be equal to minus 3. Minus 2 becomes plus 2. Minus y will now be equal to minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1. Then minus cancels out minus. We have y equals 1. And I'm sure they will satisfy the equation. So the, your key answers are x equals minus 2 and y equals 1. So that's it.